Hi folks, and welcome back to Conan Exiles. This is episode 21 of the Let's Play 3.0 series, and in this episode I want to try and get a couple of things done, because one of the things I want to do is progress the story using the, the Staff of the Triumvirate, uh, but I believe the next thing we need to do there is go and do the Barrow King, which doesn't take very long. So I also want to progress a little bit further with our religion as well. So if we if we look at this Zath altar, which is currently a level 2 Zath altar, I've done some leveling up of some of my berserkers in the den and killed a whole bunch of uh, people in there and got their blood using the knife and turned that into manifestations of zeal and globe of yuzuds. So you craft these globe of yuzuds with one venom purified blood, it gives you one of these egg sacs for the spiders but also gives you a manifestation of zeal so i've now got enough to be able to you need 75 uh, you need to be able to get that to upgrade it to the next level which i've done it's 115. i've also got the rest of the materials required to go to level three so let's hit craft so as before that takes forever to upgrade so we'll just leave that running in the background as we carry on the other thing I want to do before we do anything else is I want to uh, dye my armor. So we crafted this epic armor in the last episode, but I think I'm not a big fan of the brown bit, bit on the plain side, so I want to dye it. But to dye it, we're going to need to learn the dye maker, which, where is it? Here, dye maker which makes the dyer's bench and then gives us all the different colors that we need. So we'll unlock that. The dyer's bench is made with the hammer, of course. So what do we need to make a dyer's bench? A crafting station general? No. A alchemy? There it is. Dyer's bench. So we need 50 brick and 50 tar. That's something we can do no problem at all. So in here, 50 brick and 50 tar. We should have a load of tar in here. 50 tar. All right, let's go upstairs and build this upstairs. And it might fit under there quite nicely. So F, crafting station, alchemy, dyer's bench. Oh, it's too tall to fit under there, is it? Which way around does it go? I think it does actually go that way. Hey. Okay. Why is that? Really? It sticks out quite far. Is that the right way around? It's hard to tell. Oop, fall down the stairs. You put a fence there. Right, so what I want is I want some white oh there's the there's the wall paints that you get from the and the and the war paint and the wall paints that you get from the battle pass. So I need some black dye which needs water filled glass flasks and some oil. I want some white dye which is raw ash and water filled glass flasks. And I'll probably want some Red, uh, red dye is oh, cochineal bugs and a flask. So let's go and have a look and see oh, if that flask might be in the alchemy bench. We've got, got glass flasks in there. So we, having our alchemist, we can we could take those out to the water and just click on them to fill them up. But the alchemist can do that using alchemy using a normal glass flask, so we could just craft 14. There we go. Uh, we'll take some oil. Uh, where did I put the raw ash? There it is. And I think we'll have bugs in here as well. You get those. Let me just show you if you come out here to these the cacti, these ones here, 
if you chop them down, you see you can get wood and the cochineals. There you go. There's something to show you. Look, I've moved the archer platforms down just by one wall height. So it's two up instead of three up. And they now, if I drag one of those rhinos over, they now start shooting at the rhinos. So I think they were just too high up, so it was too much of an angle for them to be able to shoot before. So bringing that down by one has fixed that problem. Right, so into the dyer's bench. Go in here, drop that, that and that. So let's make, I don't know, 10, 10 white. Uh, Black, maybe one, two, three, four of them. And red, let's make three of them. See how that goes. Right, let's start with the white. And in fact, we'll need a couple of black just to see what it looks like. Right, so we start off with our chest piece and go more dye. So you get the color options, the panels that you can dye and the color options are based on what you've got on your inventory. So you can see there, you've got brown, blue. So the blue is the, the trim around the shoulder straps. The brown, what's the brown? So that's the main sort of chest piece. Uh, and then what's this bit here? That's the leather strap. So we'll make them black. Chest piece white. And then I actually want that trim to be red. But we don't... Let's see. Is the red done yet? Yeah. Let's grab them. Okay. Let's try that again. Chest piece more dye. Uh, the blue will become red. It's pretty dark red. But that'll do for us now. Uh, the... Tacit, more dye, so white, so that's the leather straps, blue, okay, so that's kind of the main sort of skirt part, uh, what's that, buckle, just, just the buckle, okay, well, I'll leave that at its original colour, this bit, black straps. Well, it doesn't do this ones. So they're not dyeable. Hmm, that's a bit rubbish. Uh, helmet. Dye. So you've got a lot of metal bits there. Brown. Okay, that's white. Blue. Make that red. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, Gloves, die. How many bits have we got here? So, white bit there. Leather bit there. Yeah, I'll do that white as well. This bit here. What's that dying? Oh, it's just just doing that bit there, so we'll leave that original, okay, uh, and we've got feet, die, straps white, that one white, that one white, so that's the metal bit again, original colour, again you can't dye this bit, or this bit, so that's a bit rubbish, okay, Ooh, we're getting close to the purge meter, right, so for the moment that'll do, We'll just throw those back in there just now. And I'll get rid of that. Okay, right. So the next thing we need to do is we need to go downstairs and get our staff. Because I didn't take the staff. What did I do with the staff? Is it in here? There it is. So I didn't take the staff to the... What was it called? The archivi arch archives to meet the archivist. And if I talk to the staff now, look at this place. I haven't seen such a mess since the fall of Volusia. And look, the archivist. Oh, 
sorry looking shade that he is. <laughs> uh, he could probably tell us something about the current situation. Uh, besides, these three pickers think it's my old master. Together, they created that bracelet you wear. We might be able to tell you how to get rid of it. Just don't believe anything he says about me. So he talks about the archivist and he won't move on. So it looks like I do actually have to take that to the archivist to make it go go on with the story. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some food for this guy. I still need to get a bit more better lighting in here. Uh, let's just drop this in here. I'll drop the wood in the... Oh, should have went the other way. In here and get that crafting. That. Uh, I'll take my water skins with me. I'll take my knives with me. I just dropped a bunch of this for weight. I uh, think that'll do. Oh, and I'm going to take, I'm going to take some demon blood with me, and that'll become clear why later on. Uh, just take ten. That'll do. Okay, so I'm going to head off now to the the unnamed city and go to the archive again, and I will see you when I get there. Right, we're back, and there is the archivist again, so let's stick down... Oh, you're joking. Can't actually put it down in here. Okay, so how do we... How do we progress this if you can't actually put it down in here? That doesn't make much sense. Do not be afraid, bonded. Have you come to seek a way free of the bonding bracelet? We have. We listened the to this before. Of the, the Witch Queen of Lemuria. The tears. The star of the heart of the sands. Well, maybe or we didn't. The, it tells the about all the different artifacts. When you have the artifacts, you must place them on the receptacle north, north of, of here. here. Once you have filled this vessel with the artifacts of power, it will create. How did I die? Have you come to okay. seek a way free of the diadem of the giant, the witch queen? Okay, so that's the the talked heart about the all the different things now. The okay, so let's now leave. I don't know if we can do this at all in the unnamed city. Not allowed here. Not allowed here. Let's let's get out of the, the city now. Uh, so five, get on our horse. Uh, horse, could you get down off of there, please? Sam? Come on, come on. Stupid horse. Right, let's just run out of here. Have you guys all respawned? You have respawned. Okay, we're just gonna run past you. Right out of the city. Hello. Keep going. That was stamina. So I wonder if it's because we just didn't listen to him all the way through all these different talking. Oh, these guys haven't respawned. Right, of course. Get on the horse. Let's just get out here. This is the quickest, quickest way out. Through the dawn gate, I think this is called. Right, how far out before we can start building? Can't use that while mounted. Right, let's try out here. Right. 
Ooh, the diadem of the giant kings. An artifact of singularly unimpressive power. Uh, my former master, known as the Priest King, used to wear it as a symbol of his authority. His head looked like a carrot with a silver belt wrapped around it. <laughs> but it certainly provided him with all the qualities you'd expect of an elderly authority figure. Stuffiness, a great love of his own voice, and the inability to control his bowels. <laughs> uh, the last time I saw his face, I was tumbling down into the dregs. It was right before he went north to do battle with his half-breed son, Tyrus. I checked the northern battlefield. Someone has probably smelled him. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so he's got to talk about the diadem of the giant kings, which we get from the Barrow King. And the, the Barrow King can be found... Where is it now? Up here, I think it is. So you kind of head up to the Mounds of the Dead, head into, I think this is called the Dirgewood, and then there's an entrance just about here that allows you to come across him. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head up there, and I will meet you at our northern outpost at the Mounds of the Dead. I'll bring you back at that point. Okay, I will see you very, very soon. Okay, see you soon. Right, oh, welcome back. So, I on the way on the way up here, we went past the base, uh, and if you notice, the altar of Zath now shows up on the base. So I will show you why that on the map. Sorry, I'll show you why that is once we get back to the base. Uh, but I stopped off there and I picked up my truncheon and um, rawhide bindings. Uh, where is? And as we passed up here, we grabbed another Sumerian berserker from from the water just just here. That guaranteed spawn, so stuck him on the wheel, and then we're going to head head off to the east. But in doing that, we're more than likely going to pull these guys, so let's... Yep. One's an archer, one's a fighter. Take him out. You take him out. You don't happen to have gloves on you, do you? No. You do have more iron bar... steel bars, even. You got gloves on you? No. Take that, anyway. Okay. So let's get back on the horse and head over this way. So we're just heading west over here, past that entrance into the Mounds of the Dead, and there we go, the Dirge Wood. We're into white territory now. Let's get off the horse so they don't don't chase my horse come here there we go oh, another level up on so level 8 now what's that bone meal may as well take that uh, how far north is it again I think it is this way in this corner. Oh, is that wolves? Ah. Might be going the wrong way. It might actually be a bit south from here. So we shouldn't be meeting wolves. We should be meeting more whites. But we'll take you out anyway, because you're good XP. So we want to go a bit south from here then. May as well heal up a bit as well. Uh, Try and that could be it around there. Yeah, a bit more white. Yeah, 
That's it, up there. That's the walled entrance. Can you take him out? The 1000 XP for that. More. Get off the horse. Hey, what have you got? More steel bars, razor arrows. I should be taking these guys because I think they give you. I've at least got a chance to give you witchfire powder. No. Oh no, don't throw that out. That's the other thing I picked up while I was in the base was some demon fire orbs and some grease orbs. Just in case we encounter another. Um, meteor storm. Right, yeah, so this way, into this little walled off area up here, where we should encounter some more whites coming out of the ground. Not yet. If that's the case, maybe, can you stand guard here? That's a safe place then. Oh, that one's gone into the ground, and then they come out of the ground. So there should be a whole bunch of them here, guarding that door up there. stamina. Okay. Uh, so we'll take that, that, that and that. Uh, is that just a glass flask? We'll definitely take that. These armour pieces that are good for dismantling. Be another one, was it not four? More in here. Uh, oh, oh, no chemical base. Two more over here. Oh, I never chopped these guys up. There we go, 12 witchfire powder. And some more. A pile of putrid meat and bone. So let's drop all that. That, that, and that. We'll keep that, get rid of that. Okay. Alright, let's get these two. Powder. What do you have in there? Steel bars and boots. And. Okay. Alright, get rid of that, that, and then all that. Okay, right, so that should be us. I think that's all the whites we're going to encounter. But if we run up here, we get to this entrance here. Now, the reason why I brought the demon blood... Uh, is there a... There 
there's a book here. Uh, all right, this good death around to put rest or incredulity. I've studied the ruins and stones around the region and I'm certain that a great battle took place here. I have a reason to believe that I found the burial chamber of one of the commanders of the battle. Alas, it is locked tight by some mechanism and I simply have no idea how to open it. I have translated the runes around the door to this. Blood to seal and blood to hold. Blood to warm the dead and cold. Blood to sign the final pact. Blood to seep to between the cracks. Before you ask, yes, I've tried my blood and it simply does not open. Perhaps what is buried inside is too different from what we are for this to work. So, tried human blood and it didn't work. So, if we try demon blood, it opens. Okay. Let's head inside. It's very dark, so let's get a torch out. And in here is the Barrow King. There he is. So, he is one of the priest kings. So let's take him on. Oh, this net's got stuck on a rock. He doesn't have a lot of health. He's only got 4,200 health. So, yeah, he's going down super easy. If you, well, at least you, the king beneath us, he's known. Let's go do him. There he goes. He's down. Super easy. You could probably do them at a lot lower level than this. Uh, I don't think he has anything on him. Oh, the, so that is the diadem of the giant king, which we now have. And the rest is just demon blood. There it is. Bones thick hide. But if we look at that. Uh, we believe that it contained the diadem of the giant king, of the people who dwelt in the dark land before the ancestors of the Stygians came here. He showed me the design carved on the lid, which he swore was the shape of the diadem, which legend tells us is the monster king wore from the rogues in the house. Too large to be worn by a human, this diadem hums with contained power. Taken from the priest king of the giant kings, Known today as the Barrow King, the story of the diadem is one of betrayal and hatred. It seems that the Priest King was the father of Tyros the Deathbringer, who we will encounter later on, because he is the, the King Scourge in the Black Keep. Tyros turned against his father at some point during the war between the Lemurians and the Giant Kings, and his father cursed him and all of his loyal warriors. Such is the strength of the diadem that Tyros and his men were cursed to live forever, a silent legion brooding in the ruins of the north. This is one of the artifacts required to create the keystone that will be used to remove the slave bracelet. So that's the first of our um, artifacts that we need. So somewhere around here is a tablet. There it is. You click on that, you learn Vanquisher of the King Beneath, and that will give us um, Vanquisher of the King Beneath. It allows you to make the Kingslayer Polearm or the Kingslayer Daggers, which at lower levels would be pretty pretty good, 43 and 37, but we're, we're past that now. Uh, I think that's all that's actually in here. I don't think there's any chests. So there you go. We've got the first of our artifacts that we require. And because I've been following the story of... Oh, can we put down the... Placeable inside. Can we put it down in here? Placeable is inside collision. Whatever that means. So it looks like you can't put it down in here. So let's get outside. Yeah, so since I've actually been following the story of the staff, which is the first time I've ever done that, I normally, after the dregs, I normally head to the Witch Queen. But apparently, the Barrow King is the correct one to go to. Oh, it's dark now. Right, can we put it down here? No, too close to that POI. Have they all respawned again? Looks like they have. There we, go. we can put it down here, though. 
to the occasional orgy here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, 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 riding naked upon the altar of Dagon while her followers gave themselves over to the rites of ecstasy. Oh God, those blood-soaked moments. Oh, stiff and unyielding to a sorceress ministry. Oh, 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 oh forgive me. Now, if you need a mask, be far from her palace. Her people built a city in the eastern swamplands. We should visit it. Okay, so there we go. The staff is telling us next is to go to visit the Witch Queen in the jungle. So over over here in the palace of the Witch Queen. Right. They are going to rise up. They have all respawned again. So we'll fight them and then we'll get back to our horse. And we've got four. Right. Let's see if we can gather them up so we can AOE them. There's one down. Come on, get together so you can hear you them. There he goes. And you can pick them off. Alright, any more goodies? Oh, definitely. Steel bars, some more stuff to make dismantle in our dismantling bench. It's a bit over encumbered now, though. Take that. Oh, potent compost, very useful. Alright, what are you going to take? Uh, let's no, let's give him that. What is the heaviest? Really? Uh, let's put that on there and then give him one of them as well. That's better. And then chop these guys up so we can get some more witchfire powder. Not from him. Not from them. And a little bit from him. Right, and then bin. I haven't thrown out anything important. It's not be in this bag if it is. No, I haven't. Okay. Uh, there's our horse. Right, I'm going to head off. I'm going to see if another Cimmerian Berserker has spawned. And if it has, I'm going to stick it on the wheel, and then I'm going to meet you back at the base again. Okay, see you soon. Well, hopefully you can see that now. So that means that the Zath Altar has now leveled all the way up to Tier 3. And we've now got the pale blue beam coming out of the top of that tower there all the way up to the top so that's us now ready to move on to the next one. Oh, and i never showed you this i've moved or i've expanded the the base up a little bit further so it kind of it now matches that height so the the top the top level of the main base has now gone up by i think just by one more I also stuck the, the the trophy of the Rhino King's head. So that, that Rhino King over there who wanders over here every now and again and gets killed by my my squad outside here. The uh, I, I've stuck his head 
above the door at the moment. I've got I've got plans for something slightly better up there at some point in time very soon, but not yet. Right, let's uh, put you to stand guard here, and let's go in. Don't need my sword. Let's just drop off the staff and let's dump a pile of this stuff in the dismantling bench. So that, 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 that. Okay. Uh, and I will drop off the diadem in here for just now. Uh, in fact, we'll just dump, we'll just dump everything in here for the moment. Well, that needs to go in the dismantling bench. Uh, that, 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 and that. Let's pop upstairs and have a look at the altar. White, white beam now coming out. Can you even see it? it? Can just see it from the sun, heading up to the sky there, out of the tier three altar with the giant. Uh, what is that? Spider on the top. So we can now make zathite daggers. Anything else different in here? And extract. So a zathite bag and blood will make us silk as well. I wonder how much silk you get, because that's... You can get obviously a lot of silk out of spiders. So, there we go. But that's that one up to tier 3. So that's that one done. Uh, so we now need to do one over on the other side. And I think the one I'm going to do on this side is going to be the set altar. And I want the set altar because I want to be able to make the set poison snake arrows. So let's go and learn the set religion. So one of the ways of doing it, obviously, is you can learn it. Oh, look at that. That's getting really close now. You can learn it from a, a character creations time. You can pick the Zeth um, religion at that point in time. You can go into your knowledge. You can go to religion and you can pick Acolyte of Set and you can learn it. But for 50 points, which we're not going to do. Or, of course, you can go and learn it from... Or you, you could kill a tier 4 set priest, and that will often drop a piece of parchment. Have you got anything? Oh, you do. Let's take that off of you. Stick it in here. Give you the steel bars and drop that in there for you. But yeah, you can learn it off of a tier 4 set uh, priest, that's another way. Or we can go to the trainer and learn it that way. And the trainer is... Oh, now, where is the trainer? Here? I believe that's it on that mound there. So we're going to head over that way. Oh, we've got to pass, pass the crop boss on the way, so we'll probably just kill that on the way. And then we'll go and learn it from there. Okay, I'll see you when I'm a lot closer. Okay. Right, here we are. Here's the croc boss that we've fought a few times before. So let's just go and send the guy in. Do I have daggers with me? I do have daggers with me. Let's use them. Just to stack up those bleeds. Easier now that we've got a, a level 9 Sumerian Berserker. And I'm out of stamina. So let's get the bleeds and then step back. Let's step, oh, tail up. Let's get out of the way. And run back in. Get 20 bleeds going. Just to kind of ease it, ease it in now just to keep them ticking. He's only got the great sword, so he's putting the odd bit of cripple on him, which doesn't do an awful lot at all. I should have given him one of the maces. The tail up again. One, two, three. And we 
so in quick enough to keep them keep them rolling. Daggers don't do huge damage, but once you've got 20 stacks, ow, 20 stacks of bleed on, that's that's quite nice. And he's down. Right, get the key. There you go. Don't care about the rest. In here, see what we get. What is that? The Tolwar of Amar Kurum. 49, 9% strength weapon. Yeah, okay. So that's not exactly brilliant, but hey-ho. Right. Now we need to get up and top to go and find the temple. So let's head up this way. I think you can get up from this way. Let's see if we can find it. Yeah, that's a good sign. Lots of hyena. More hyena. Now up here. I'm stuck on trees. Get out of the tree. Now I'm stuck on hyena. Get get lost. Get that guy. You. Let's just run up here. Right, up this way. And Mech Camosa's Spire. So I'm recording this on the 9th of November 2022. And yesterday was the latest live stream from Funcom telling you about a, what do they call it? Season, season two of the or chapter two of the Age of Sorcery, where a uh, Mechamosis here is uh, a little bit more of his lore is going to be explained, um, involving some sorcery uh, headhunters and trying to get some more magic in the no in the exile lands. Lest so, I blast your feeble skin from your bones. I don't know. I am Mechamosis of Let's the Black Red. Listen. In another place and time, I would command your obeisance. But for now, I would speak of matters that are of mutual interest. Okay. You have the look of the lost stranger. Abandoned, exiled, and adrift in purpose. Fool. You need to forge a purpose for yourself in this place. These bracelets we wear, sap at our will, suppress our true powers. They are designed to make us meek and pliable. Do not allow your thoughts to be trapped. Resist it. I was a sorcerer of the Black Ring before uh -huh. my exile. But I opposed the rise of a sorcerer called Toth Amon. Amon. He was powerful and ambitious, made doubly so by an artifact called the Serpent Ring of Set. He was also political, forging alliances with King Sistaphon of Stygia. I found myself swept aside for my opposition. Perhaps you think it was foolish of him to let me live. This bracelet suppresses my sorcerous abilities. I am thoroughly trapped. It is somewhere here in these lands that Tothamon discovered his serpent ring of set. I only glimpsed the ring once, but there is a similarity between the patterning of the bracelets we wear and the ring. It follows that the giant kings who ruled this place created other such artifacts. That is the purpose to which I have dedicated myself. I will scour this land in search of the artifact that will restore my sorcery. Then there shall be a reckoning such as Tothamon has never imagined. Many mistakenly believe that sorcery comes from some innate power. 
It is true that the more corrupted the soul, the more kinship one will find in the creatures of the outer void. But the power to summon comes from knowledge, and that knowledge can be taught. If you find a way to restore my sorcery, stranger, I will teach you the words written in the Book of Skelos. I will provide you with access to a power that you have never known before. Together, we will raise an army and march forth to take our vengeance. You have the look of the lost okay, stranger. Okay, repeating again. So let's learn Acolyte Asset. So yeah, it, what they were saying is that for the chapter 2, because um, Tothamon used his uh, artifact of Set to set, banish uh, Mechamosis into the Exile Lands, so he lost all his sorcery power. So in the next update that we're getting in December, he is going to be sending us out looking on um, headhunting missions for headhunting various sorcerers, and so that he can try and reclaim his sorcery powers. And for every sorcerer or sorcerer's head that we bring him to his different camps, he will he will reward us with with goodies, and uh, that's kind of what chapter two is going to be all about so that's i've never actually listened to his speech there so i'm not sure whether that has changed since the age of sorcery or whether he always spoke about that but yeah that's that's basically the story of chapter two okay so i've learned how to make this now so and it's getting dark so i'm going to head back home again and we can look at getting that crafted up okay see you when i get there Okay, we're back at the base. I've gathered the materials we need for the basic altar. Uh, oh, don't tell me it's not going to fit in here. I might actually have to take the roof off. That usually is what happens. Uh, so let me... Let's take all these bits down. do. Of course with the wonderful new building system we get all the materials back so we don't lose out in anything. Now really heavy so we're going to give them to you. There we go. Right. So probably about there. And hopefully I'll be able to put the roof back on again. I might have to move this slightly forward. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty central, but obviously that that bit comes out. Let's let's just have a quick look. Give me give me that back. Uh, F building materials, storm glass. Another exciting thing about the next chapter is we're going to get some new storm glass building materials. So let's stick that up there. And up. Anywhere there's a window, how's it? Uh, like that. And there and there. And then we're going to need that. Which will go there, there, there. Yeah, it looks like it's going back up. No problem at all. F inverted that one there. Nice. Yep, so in here we're going to have to make the setite knife, which we're going to need some branches, which we've probably got, and I'm going to need some iron bars, which I'll have plenty of downstairs. And uh, we'll get that set up and get this started leveling, because when we get to level 2, we get the arrows, and then we'll get it up to level 3, and we'll get another beam coming out from, from this tower too. But yeah, that'll do. That'll do. We've... Uh, accomplished quite a bit today. So we've dyed our armor that we made last time. We've upgraded the Zathalter to level 3. We have then went off and updated, went back to the unnamed city, to the archivist, updated the staff of the, the Triumphant by listening to what the archivist actually had to say. 
And then he told us to go to the diadem, or do, go to the Barrow King and get the diadem of the Giant King, which we did. So that means we've now got the first of our artifacts. Uh, then we, what did we do after that? We went down and we've learned the set religion and built our first set altar. And we can now start leveling that up too. But, like we can see here, our purge meter is very close to the purge. So it looks like in the next episode we're going to have a purge battle again. So I'm going to have, I've got a couple, a couple of uh, naked Sumerian berserkers down there who have been leveled up a little bit, but just using that armor set that he's got on. So I'm going to have to make them some armor. Uh, there's a couple more berserkers in the horse that I picked up out of the wheel. And then there's the two that I've just put in the wheel at the moment. So I can maybe get them armoured up and levelled up a little bit before the actual purge comes. So that we've got a bit more warriors to help fight. Uh, but that'll be in the next episode. So yeah, thank you once again for watching. If you liked the episode, please hit that like button. Hit subscribe and I will see you in the next episode. Bye now.